By the end of this video, you're going to be able to take money from your PayPal account and move it straight into your South African bank account. Regardless of which bank account you use in South Africa, you'll be able to connect it with PayPal and start receiving international payments. Now, at the time of recording this video, the only bank that officially works with PayPal is FNB Bank. Meaning that, yes, you can take PayPal money and put it into your FNB Bank account. But what about if you don't use FNB Bank? I'm going to show you step by step what you can do so that you also will be able to receive payments into your bank account. This information is going to be for free. The only payment that I'm going to ask for is that you simply hit the like button just to show your support for such content like this and also if you're not a subscriber make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time i drop helpful information like this and now let's get into it okay so like i mentioned this process works regardless of which bank you're using in south africa this is exactly what you need to do so you can just simply go to google and type in and say fnb paypal like this and then you're going to see this option here it's normally the one at the top but right now there's an ad from fnb so I'm just going to click on that and then it's going to give me several different options that have to do with PayPal. The first one is get in touch. If I click on that, you will see that there is a number that you can call here directly and ask them about anything to do with PayPal. So a lot of people normally ask me, Marshall, can you walk me through the process? These are the qualified people who can actually walk you through the whole process, regardless of which bank account you use in South Africa. You can call this number and they'll walk you through the process. Option B is for you to just simply to send an email to this email address here. And then the FNB PayPal team will actually give you assistance. And then if I click here where it says about FNB and PayPal services, it's just going to bring me lower to the page here where it just gives a bit more details about um, how this works. But I want you to take note here where it says joining the service is simple. Open a PayPal account, register for FNB online banking profile, right? and withdraw the money to any South African bank account. So this is confirmation that it works with any South African bank account. And notice it says that open a PayPal account. You need a PayPal account first. And if you don't have a PayPal account, just check out this video that's popping up on your screen here. That will show you how to open a PayPal account. But then you then also go and register for the FNB online banking profile. And that's the next step that I'm going to be showing you how to take. You just simply go to the FNB website and sign up for um, a profile. But if you wanna go on and read more about PayPal, you can just um, like check here. But I'm just gonna to go to the website, as you can see, fnb.co.za. And then you notice right here at the top, you will click where it says register. So you don't need to have an FNB account. Um, this is the method that will work for you if you are not registered as an FNB uh, account holder so you're going to click here where it says register and then you're going to come here and choose one of the options that you see here so if you already have a, got an fnb account as you can see the options here register with my card and atm pin details register with my account number this is for people who already have got fnb accounts but here if you don't have a, an fnb account you can click on this last option which says register for PayPal for non-FNB customers. The process is gonna be the same for both, whether you've got an FNB account or you don't have an account. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you, especially if you don't have an FNB account. So you're gonna click here where it says register for PayPal for non-FNB customer. You're just gonna click on that. And then it's gonna open these options here and say, are you opening this for, for yourself or you're opening it for a business? If you wanna open it for a business, you leave it where it says for my business, right? You click on that, but I'm gonna be showing you how to do it for yourself because most people watch my content are freelancers or people who are trying to set up businesses. So you do it, make sure that it says for me right here. And then you click where it says, I do not bank with FNP. So I click on that. And then it's just going to ask for your personal details. Title, um, that's going to be Mr. Uh, initials, your resident type, like are you a South African resident or you're from a different country, you're going to choose your nationality. Um, choose what method of verification you want to use, whether it's got it's your ID, passport, uh, permit number. You're just going through all these processes and just entering all your details, right? And then the next important thing that you need to know is where it comes here, it asks you for tax declaration. So in other words, if you are someone who is earning tax, you're going to have to give them your tax details. But most people who watch my videos, you, you probably haven't yet registered for tax. Maybe you're making money um, as a student, just like maybe doing surveys or something online. 
but you now want to receive money through PayPal. So you're going to click here where it says um, local, right? Local only. And then where it says your tax number, you're going to click here where it says, um, I don't have access to it right now. And so what this basically means is that you'll be able to open up, you'll be able to connect your PayPal account to your bank uh, account, but eventually they may ask, like, in terms of like, if you, the more money you get, eventually they'll need you to have a text number because you're making a lot of money, you need to register as a business, but when you're starting out, you don't need those details. And then you go on here to, to create a, a username. For example, I can call myself uh, Marshall FNB or whatever so that I can just have a, an ability to be able to access the online banking. So using this process, I just need to mention this also, using this process, it means you are creating an, an online banking account. It doesn't mean that you are creating a bank account with FNB. It just means that you'll be able to make transactions through FNB and connecting it to your bank account. Then they'll ask you for additional security. Uh, then when you're done through this whole process, you're just gonna click here where it says, agree to the terms and conditions, and then you will be done. They might send you some, or they will send you some information on email that you just need to confirm your account, but basically you'll be done through the whole process. And then when you're done with that, what you then do is that you come back to the main dashboard again, which is fnb.co.za. And then you're going to use the username and the password that you set up, and then you are going to log in. Then this is what the FNB dashboard looks like. What you're going to do is that you're going to click here where it says Forex. And then on the next page, you're going to click where it says PayPal services. And then it will bring you to this page where you've got different options, main profile, PayPal history, how to guides, view balance. So choosing, depending on whatever you want to do, um, these are the options that you will be getting. But what we want to do first is we want to come here where there's a, this orange menu. You want to click on that. Then you click where it says link PayPal profile. And then what you will then do is that you're going to come here and fill in all your details. Again, take note here, it's going to ask for your current non-FNB account details. Like I mentioned, this is for people who are not FNB holders. So this is where you're going to put your account details or maybe you're using standard um, bank, you're using Capitec or whatever. You're going to put the details here. Then you're going to go ahead and put your address details. So basically this process is just you connecting your bank account to FNB. Once it's done that, it's then going to ask you to log into your PayPal account and connect it to your FNB. Once you have done that, you are done. As you can see here, now your account is linked. So in other words, you can then start receiving payments um, from, from your PayPal into your bank account, and then you can start using your money. And then let's say that now your account is linked and then you want to actually withdraw money or access your cash. What you can then do is that you can just come back to the menu here you're going to follow the same process. You're going to click where it says Forex, and then you're going to click on PayPal services again. And then when you come to the menu here, it's going to give you the option, as you can see, link PayPal profile. We've already done that. Withdraw from PayPal. This is the option that you're going to click on. And then you just click on that option. It will give you a couple of questions that you need to fill in, and you are done. You'll be able to receive your payments within three business days of you withdrawing your money. That's how simple it is to connect with PayPal. So now it's your turn. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any questions in regards to setting up your business um, or setting up your profile and connecting it with PayPal, just the whole process that I've shown you. But otherwise, I'm also going to put the number that I showed you earlier on that you can call. I'm going to put it in the description below so that you can be able to call that number in case you have got any questions. I am not affiliated with FNB or PayPal. This is just me creating a video that will bring value and help to people as this youtube channel is all about helping people to learn how to make uh, money online if you haven't done so please make sure you smash the like button just to show your support for this type of content then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified every time i drop content which will help you to make money online and also i've got another secret uh i started off using paypal using the exact same process that i've shown you but I found another way of actually uh, transacting money faster. I told you that PayPal will give you your money within three days, but I found another way that can actually do it faster. Sometimes it takes one day or, or two days. And number two, the charges are actually cheaper. And this, the benefit also of this tool is that it also helps you to open international bank accounts. You might be located in South Africa, but you'll be able to open an account in the UK, in the United States, and people will be able to pay you directly into those accounts accounts and then you'll be able to transfer the money straight into your um into your local bank account so if you're interested in finding out more about that make sure that you check out this video right here which will show you that whole process but otherwise thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care